Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. And I don't know about you, but this housewives situation is going crazy. Let's just get into it. So y'all, this is from OMFG Reality TV by way of the Jasmine brand, right? So it's saying that for the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 16, it will contain only three current cast members. And I think it's Sheree, Candy, and Kenya. Production have been receiving threats, according to the Jasmine brand. That's insane. Then you got Sanya kind of throwing shots at B. Scott, right? Everyone rushing to report first instead of reporting facts. Just wait for it. I hope we're just waiting not to hear from Sanya again. I really hope that's what we're waiting for. Then they've thrown Portia to the mix. They're saying that she's playing hardball for, retur for returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hold on. So insiders are telling Entertainment Tonight that not only has Portia been asked to come back, but Portia wants to come back and be the highest paid housewife. Now I had talked about it earlier and allegedly Candy is getting paid $100,000 an episode. She and Kenya are right now the highest paid. So what does Portia want? And Bravo is saying here, Bravo has been trying to get Portia to come back for a possible shakeup, but she's playing hardball. A source told Gossip Outlet, Bravo offered Portia a lot of money to return, but she declined. She may come back if the number is right. Now, these would not be my top three, right? Sheree, let's start with Sheree. I do not want to see Sheree at the baby gym every episode because... Honestly, Mecca is the best storyline that she will have. I don't want to see glamour activities. And God forbid if she brings Martell back, because we all know that's not true. Kenya, Kenya's talking about having a baby with Mark from these embryos she has frozen. I, I don't want to see that. If Kenya comes back, I don't want to see nothing but that spot. I, I just want, I want to see day to day, in and out. I want to see her hiring people. I want to see her firing people. I want to see her getting off work. I want to see her working. And Candy. <sighs> Candy. Okay. I like Candy. But Candy really and truly does not do anything on the show. Let's just keep it funky for real. Candy was not on the first three or four episodes because she was out doing something. She was doing awards. She was. She had to leave the Portugal trip early. She had to leave the uh, brunch early. I don't know what she was doing. But if she makes another movie, like, that is all she does. She has products. She has a great platform to put them on. But Candy's going to have to clock in. And this season, she didn't clock in. Like, we saw her movie. We saw her toy. This is what she's using it for. I need to see her being a housewife. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, this is from the Jasmine brand. People are threatening to boycott over the shakeup. Like, just take everybody away. So we already know that Bravo has addressed the rumors, right? Nothing is official or anything like that. But I know B. Scott, he may be a little upset because he dropped this bomb on us yesterday, day before yesterday. And now it's like, oh, we're not really doing anything, but we may keep three people. Uh, we're not sure who it's going to be. I know he's a little pissed. What do y'all think about this? Like, what do you really want to see? Do you want to see a whole new set of ladies? Because I would like to get to know some new people, right? And if you did keep somebody out of the three, I could see keeping Kenya. Out of Sheree, Candy, and Kenya, I could definitely see keeping Kenya. And let it... And Drew. Bring Drew back. Drew has an actual story. But Kenya cannot come unless she has something to talk about. Y'all, let's talk about it. It's your girl, Millie Chime. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.